Hi, I'm Brian with Pharonix Technical Support, and in this video, we will be going over the installation of Pharonix WinSelect Enterprise. To begin with, you will need to have the Pharonix Core Console installed on your management machine, as well as the Pharonix Core Agent installed on your client workstations so that they can show up in the Core Console under the Managed Workstations node. If you do not have this set up, you may refer to the Pharonix Core installation video in the description below. If you do have the Core Console set up, please close the Core Console before starting the WinSelect installation. To begin with WinSelect installation, go to pharonix.com or Pharonix Lab Portal and download the software. Once you have it downloaded, extract the contents of the compressed folder. Once this is extracted, you will see the WinSelect Console Load-In Installer. This installer will install the load-in on the console machine, and then later on we can push out the WinSelect client installation to the clients from the core console itself. To begin the installation, just simply double-click on the WinSelect console load-in installer. Once the install wizard pops up, click on Next. Accept the terms in the license agreement and click on Next. You may specify a username, organization name, and you will need to enter the license key, which you can get from pharonixlabs.com, or use the fully functional 30-day evaluation, then click on Next. Click on Next again, and then click on the Install button. Select Yes to restart the Pharonix Core Server service. Once the load-in installation is complete, click on the Finish button, and wait for about two minutes before launching the core console so that the load-in initializes. Once the core console is opened and connected, expand the local host node on the left-hand side, expand workstations, and expand managed workstations. You will now see the WinSelect plugin in the core console. If you click on the WinSelect plugin, you will see no workstations listed on the right-hand side, since no workstations have Pharonix WinSelect installed on them yet. To install Pharonix WinSelect on the client workstations, select Manage Workstations, select the workstations where you would like to install Pharonix WinSelect Enterprise, right-click, and then go down to Install Upgrade WinSelect Client. Select this option. Click OK on the prompt, which says that the machine will reboot after a successful installation. You may specify a password to prevent unauthorized access to the local WinSelect interface at the workstation. Once the password is specified, click on Install WinSelect. You can either schedule the installation, or you could have it happen immediately by selecting Now, and then click on OK. Once you do that, you will notice in the Active Task column in the Core Console the install of WinSelect in progress. You can also see this task in progress in the Task node on the left-hand side. If you expand Tasks and Active Tasks, you will see the installation in progress. During the installation, you will notice that the machine will go offline for a reboot after a successful installation, and once it comes back up, it should have WinSelect installed and protected. Now that the machine is back up online, you will notice that WinSelect is now installed on it. And if you go to the WinSelect node on the left-hand side and select it, you will see the workstation listed here, since the workstation has WinSelect installed on it. From here you can manage WinSelect from the core console by selecting the workstation, right-clicking, and then you can perform actions like enabling the WinSelect protection, disabling it, upgrading the version of WinSelect, and uninstalling WinSelect if required, and you can also configure WinSelect on the workstations. To configure WinSelect on the workstation, simply click on Configure. The console would retrieve the settings from the machine. Once the settings are retrieved, you can configure options such as a lockdown of the machine using the kiosk mode. If you are using the kiosk mode, you can just add a list of applications you want to allow the users to use. If you don't want to use the kiosk mode, you can also do a comprehensive system lockdown by limiting things such as the task manager, 
things on the Explorer, Control Panel, Desktop, and Windows Taskbar. You can disable drives and file extensions, disable selected start menu items or all start menu items, specifying network restrictions, disable certain hotkeys, allow or disallow selected applications, limit things with the menu items for Microsoft Office, specify restrictions for the internet browser, limit printers or enable a print quota, have an acceptable use policy display at startup. You can also configure user sessions and also export a WinSelect template. In this video, we will be enabling the kiosk mode and adding one application to be able to be used by the end user. We'll ensure that Firefox will launch automatically and then click on Apply. Select OK to configure the setting now and then click on OK again. The machine should now be in kiosk mode and the user should only be able to use Firefox browser. We are now on the client machine where you can see that the only application open is Firefox and the end user should not be able to use any other application but Firefox. The start menu has been removed and all other options have been removed as well. If the end user closes Firefox, they will only get an option to open up Firefox again since that's the only application in the allowed list in the kiosk mode. This completes the installation and configuration of Pharonix WinSelect Enterprise. If you face any issues during the installation of Pharonix WinSelect or have any other questions, please contact Pharonix Technical Support. Thank you.